Hello and welcome back to Parental Composure. We are going to be talking about when should kids get their first phone. Hello, everybody. Hello. This is your boy, Mike Ayers, and I'm here with Miss Elisa Zambrano, and we're back with another episode of your favorite podcast, Parental Composure. Yes. We're going to talk about a topic that I love talking about. What is the topic? <laughs> oh, yeah. When should your kid get your first their, their When their should first, your child get their first phone? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I just had to correct you. Um, because the, the reason why I like talking about this is because it's there's pros and cons. Pros and cons. There is no wrong sure. or right answer to this. And mm -hmm. I don't care who you are. There is really not. I agree. And yeah. All right. So you tell me what you think. So I'll tell you just what we did, which was when our son turned 12, he got his first cell phone. Ooh, 12. So, is that Ooh. bad? Poor kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, just joking. Uh, you better be. Yeah. Um, ours was nine. Okay. Ours was yeah. nine. Just in, in a day, in the, you know, days like these, uh -huh. the times like these, uh, you know, it's very... So was it their like personal phone? Because we also do have a family phone. So it's like, so we have Dominic has his own phone, mm -hmm. and then we have a family phone that our younger kids yeah her can use her personal phone. Okay. We yeah. we gave her her personal phone, and I think the conversation just came up because we had just got a new plan, and mm -hmm. then deciding what to do with the old phone and then that's when the conversation started that you know what our kid needs a phone yeah because actually she, you know she walks she walks to school she doesn't take a bus or nothing like that mm -hmm. so i honestly think it's a situational thing um and like i said there there can't be a right or wrong answer just sure. because you know it has to be based on situations like i mean my kid walks, even though it's not that far, they still walk. Right. And you, you still want to know where they are. You want to be able to track them. Yeah. And, call them. you know, you got to text Stalk me them. when you get home. You got to call me when you get home or, you know, or when they go to a friend's house, you know, back when they were allowed to. And then, you know, just. <laughs> but the thing is, I got to know, I got to be able to get in touch with my kids at yeah. all times. Yep. And don't you think it's harder to as like when you have older kids with phones? I feel like the younger kids want it faster, you know, because it's like they see their other siblings have their own phone. So yeah. they're like, Mom. Now, the thing is, it's up to the parent because with the phones these days and compared to the phones that we had back in our days, none. But you know what I mean? It's, yeah. You, it's up to the parent to monitor that phone. Yes. Don't see a problem with a kid having a phone, my personal opinion. But I do see a problem with what that kid has on the phone. Yes. And that's why there are apps that you can put on there to like, or not apps, you know, you can lock certain yes. apps on the phone. That's what we've done. Um, now, we, my 14-year-old, almost 15-year-old, has just barely gotten some of his apps back. He's earned them back. So it makes me a little nervous because, you know, I mean, like, you so be kids nervous. these days, they don't text. Have you noticed that? No. They only they chat through Instagram and Snapchat. And you know why yep. they're doing it. We're not dumb, right? I mean, they know that parents can check the text. Yep. So they go and they do the Instagram and the Snapchat. Now, Snapchat isn't allowed in our house just because we've had bad experiences with it. But not judging, you know, if anyone else does allow it. But Instagram's almost just as bad with how much kids can get away with. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Yeah. It's, you know, again, that is where, that's where the parenting comes in. I know. You know. It's not about giving a device to a kid. It's about what that kid can do with that device. And yes. It's up to us to decide what they can and can't do. Yep. yep. Um, but, you know, and that's, that's where the tricky question is. When, you know, when should your kid have their fo first phone? Yeah. And it's, you know, like with Riley, she has her phone, but she's very limited on what she can do. Mm -hmm. 
no Facebook, no Snapchat, no Instagram. I let her have a TikTok. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But other than that, and the reason why she has a TikTok is because I follow her. So, right. You know. Yeah. But, you know, yep. it's, but that's a kid, that's a kid type thing. You know, TikTok is. I know. You know what I mean? So. It's really hard. It's, a, it's okay. I mean, it could go both. It can go either way. I know. And, and that's like, it's parents these days are just given with all the, I don't know, these you have to make so many choices. Like just one app you have to go through in your head if it's safe, is it worth it? Is it gonna, you know? It's like it you gotta fair? go to a drawing board and just write out the pros and cons for I each know, thing. I know, really. It's... Okay, so this is Instagram, pros and cons. Yes. <laughs> and then you and, the hus- you and the husband have to sit there and you have to run down it. Yep. But... Like, so our daughter has an Instagram, She, but she does dog so she takes pictures of our dogs it's a dog instagram mm, that's different yeah so that's it's different not like her taking pictures of herself and posting them it's she takes pictures of the dogs and she actually has quite a few followers because i don't know she does a good job she does a good job at it but well, also who doesn't love dogs it was a great right? idea yeah yeah and so that was something that we were okay with but yeah i mean i could like if sh- i don't think that at nine years old you know, personally, she shouldn't be having an Instagram, you know. But like I said, it's like you said earlier, every parent's different. We all have to go through things in our heads and figure out what's best for our own kid. Yeah. And also, depending on what type of experiences the family right. has, you know, that's huge come about or what have you. So, mm-hmm. you know, nobody can judge another parent on the whole phone situation. I just like to give my opinions because... You know, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know me. I'm just very opinionated. What, do you guys have any like rules on like charging the phones? Like if they can charge them in their room? Like, are you guys cool with that? Yeah, I'm OK with that. Yeah. Um, I really hate that she is on her phone while it's charging. Mm-hmm. Not just not because, you know, she's actually on her phone, but when she's on her phone and charging, I mean, she goes through charges like that. Yeah, it does. <laughs> But I even told her she has she has a slight addiction to TikTok. Not gonna lie, she really does. Because and that's the thing, she, that's all she does is either TikTok or she FaceTimes her friends, mm-hmm. um, and texts is in the family chat. Yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah. other than that, but imagine you know going through the times we are right now without, without the kid something. having a device. I know, especially oh. something like TikTok. Right. I mean, even families are getting together and doing TikToks because they're so freaking bored now. I mean, the little kids are getting their parents to do them. Yeah. We did that. We so, did that. Yeah. Right. I that's my opinion on the whole cell phone thing. So. Yeah. I think I would have to agree. I think we have very similar views on that. Just went um, to 12. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. Are your kids on cell phones? What ages do you think is the appropriate age? Let um, us know. Yeah, let us know. Um, remember to go to our social pages, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Ring that bell. And we'll see you next episode.